smell it? Oh, it smells like pot. <clears throat> mm mm. Ooh, my least favorite one so far. It just disintegrates into crumbs in your mouth. <laughs> Hey, what's up everyone? Michelle here with Tony. And we are back for another taste test video, but this one's pretty unique. We are going to be trying the alternative pastas. We love regular pasta. It's so affordable and accessible, but if you're looking for a healthy option that is made of all beans or all edamame, uh, we're gonna show you what's good and what's not good. Yeah, we have so many options. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, alternative pastas that we're gonna be trying for you today, starting with, and we haven't tried many of these. Yeah. And they come from different stores, so you'll see, but we're gonna start with these. This is a company called Bonza. Um, those are, these are made from chickpeas, 25 grams of protein, 13 serving. grams of yeah. fiber. And that one's pretty accessible. I've seen that in a lot of conventional grocery stores. Yep, and the ingredients are chickpeas, tapioca, pea protein, and xanthan gum. And they look alike so. They're cute. They're cute, little spin wheels. And they have different shapes. We got the, we got the pin wheels. They're already a little more crumbly than regular pasta. Okay, so I have a little dipping sauce here. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna try one with dipping sauce first, uh, without dipping sauce first. Not bad. It's a crumblier than regular pasta. It's not bad. Yeah, it doesn't have a strong taste, mm -mm. so I think that that's good because you don't. If you have a sauce that you love, you don't want this extra weird taste. Right. I think the tough part is like when I put my fork in, they already start falling apart. So if you're mushing it in sauce or mixing it with a spoon, it might turn into like a crumbly mush. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we did everything based on the package suggestions, so mm -hmm. we. Uh, we cooked that as it said to cook it. So maybe if you cook it a little less. Mm, um, I don't know. I'm not sure. No, I'm turning it on. Yeah, I'll do another one. And it's honestly pretty pretty similar in flavor, I would say, to regular pasta. It's just the consistency. I like chewy. how much protein it has. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm actually... Oh, wait. It has a it has a comparison. Ah. Bonza, 25 grams of protein. Average pasta, 13 grams of protein. 13 grams of fiber versus three grams of fiber. And good for pooping. Good for pooping. Although for vegan, you don't I necessarily know. have a fiber issue. <laughs> uh, and then 43 grams of carbs versus 71 grams of carbs. Cool. All right. Okay, next so one. next is edamame pasta. I, I have had the bonza. I have never had the edamame pasta. This is in a noodle it shape. Smells it's, um, it's a spaghetti. So mm -hmm. loaded with plant-based protein, organic edamame spaghetti, 24 grams of protein per serving. And this one is just organic soybeans. That's yeah. it. Awesome. I appreciate the simple ingredients. Yep. And I will say it looks cool. Like there are these thin little green noodles. I've seen people like make beautiful dishes with this and post it to Instagram. So very photo friendly. Yeah, it's pretty. And it smells like something that I know. I know. It smells like tea. It smells like tea, like green <laughs> tea or something. It does smell like green tea. Weird. I know. I was like, I, it smells like, it like smells a like Japanese restaurant or something, <laughs> but I can't tell what food. Oh, shit. I forgot to try it plain. Oh. No, it's okay. <laughs> you guys always yell at us when I we know. share forks or take bites from each other. So we have separate dipping containers. I know, containers, I made sure this time. Separate forks. We're not using our fingers, except I did last yeah. time. All of our Cheers. comments turn okay. in. All of our comments turn into, you guys are gross. Yeah, that's fine. Leave us all the comments. I don't like it. It just tastes like sauce. I mean, it definitely tastes different than pasta or spaghetti. It's less chewy. It's kind of like more s stringy. It has a taste too. It has a taste, but I actually like the taste. Let's see. It what, tastes okay with like pasta them. sauce covering it, but I don't like it plain. I don't know. I don't like it. I think maybe 
Definitely a flavor that you will have had to be vegan for a while to like have acclimated to the soy flavor. It does remind me of the texture of when I used to eat mozzarella cheese and it was like a yeah like a did that the chew? texture mm-hmm. you could it's hard to explain but you could chew it for a little while so this has 24 grams of protein the last one we showed had 25 so very similar what else anything else notable 38 percent iron that's special uh and yeah everything else looks normal i love that it's one ingredient just soybeans but i get a lot of soy in my diet already by eating tofu and soy milk and stuff so i don't feel like i need to be getting extra soybeans in my diet so i may mm. as well just eat regular pasta yeah um but cool i think it looks really good next we're gonna do a green lentil and beet pasta blend of green lentils and beet flowers all natural 14 grams of protein for full servings uh, oh and a full serving of vegetables i'm kind of disappointed because in the box they look beautiful and purple and then you cook them and they just look like wheat pasta oh yeah is this right yeah and then it says it's made from organic green lentil flour organic corn flour and organic beet powder nice very okay, simple. Yep. All right. Going in. It's very clumpy. It's mm, look mm. at it. It sticks together. Oh, it tastes like lentils. Too. It tastes like lentils. It might be okay in a soup because you're like expecting lentils anyway, but mm -mm. I just got that like earthy lentil flavor. I don't like that one. I'm gonna do a dip though. Also, I should say, pasta is like my number one. Like I've eaten regular white pasta more than probably anyone else on this planet. And I have such a deep love for it. So I think this stuff all takes a little bit of acclimating and time. And I think I could acclimate to any of these so far, but I don't it's know, okay. this one's weird. It's better with sauce. I wouldn't buy this again, though. And how deceptive. You want this beautiful purple beet-colored pasta. And then it just turns brown. All right. This one looks the most like pasta, the one we're about to try. This I've had before. And my friend who's gluten-free, Allison, introduced me to it. And it became my favorite gluten-free pasta that I've tried. It looks like pasta. Mm, it's got the chew factor. I also like that it says not mushy. Yeah. A lot of Although these, it does get yeah, mushy. It does? Mm -hmm. If you overcook it, I feel like we made this pretty al dente, but if you overcook it and put like sauce in it and stuff, it does get like kind of squishy. But, but I feel like the challenge you have with a lot of these like lentil and bean pastas is they get crumbly and hard, especially if you leave them in the fridge and try and reheat them the next day. And these don't do that. So this has the least amount of good nutrition uh, mm -hmm. than that. This one has only four grams of protein, only 4% iron, and only three grams of fiber. Okay, and the ingredients are just organic brown rice yeah. and water. So very simple, clean ingredients, but not really gonna be your source of nutrition. Yeah. Super tasty though. I'm gonna put it in some sauce. Because I'm hungry. <laughs> That's my favorite one. I really love like the chewy factor of traditional pasta. And that is the only one so far that nails it for me. So this is the regular store brand whole wheat rotini. And it is made from whole durum wheat flour. And it's seven grams of protein five grams of fiber and 10% iron. Cool. I'd love to compare those to just regular enriched pasta because pasta is usually enriched with nutrients. So I'm curious if some of these healthier pa pastas actually have fewer nutrients. <laughs> Tastes like a whole wheat pasta. It's okay, I like it. I think I might like it best.
I'm not like, ooh, this is so amazing, but I could eat it. <laughs> I would eat it. I wonder if you'll for health. I wonder if you'll find that response in any of these options. Where I'm like, ooh, yes, I love this. Well, that's so how much. I feel about the last one, the Tinkyada. <laughs> Tinkyada brand. Pasta joy. Plus, they have little bunnies on the packaging, and that's, that's cute. cute. That's cute. Okay, this right. is the one that we use at our house. This is our controversial one. Yeah, my boyfriend is super healthy, and because we eat together, I end up eating healthier than I want to eat. I like white pasta. Uh, but anyway, this is solely organic red lentil flour. So lentils ground up into a flour. And it's 13 grams of protein, and it's the Trader Joe's brand. It's $2.99, which is like $2 more expensive than getting the one pound bag of um, semolina, the, pasta. The semolina pasta from the grocery store, or any grocery store. So, yeah. They make it enticing because look how beautiful the packaging is. The color is so beautiful. It is really pretty. But again, it doesn't come out as vibrant as this. Yeah. And another thing about this pasta is that it has a, a smell. Smell it? Ooh, it smells like pot. It do that smells sweet. This smells like UC Berkeley campus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Are every time know? I make it, I think... There you go. This doesn't smell like I want to eat it. Mm mm. This is my least favorite one so far. It just disintegrates into crumbs in your mouth. <laughs> I feel like I'm eating a dog biscuit. It actually, she is right. It tastes it has no flavor, and it's hard and crumby. Like when I put my fork in it, it starts breaking apart into just little shards of pieces. I think but, it would be better to switch to bonza, but that has more ingredients than. Mm -hmm. It has like um, xanthan gum and mm -hmm. other stuff. This is just chickpeas. I appreciate the ingredients, but I don't like it. Tony has made me food before with this pasta, and it's great. It just tastes healthier. Like it, it tastes healthier. Of these so far, I like the whole wheat, mm. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and and that one. I like the brown rice. The brown rice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. This Another. I have also had and. Ugh. It's another Trader Joe's pick. What's, yep. What is that one made from? Chess beans? Uh, so it is USDA organic. And the ingredients are just organic black bean flour. So ground up black beans. Mm -hmm. This has 8% calcium. I'm not seeing a calcium in a lot of these, so that's nice. 20% iron, 14 grams of protein, so that's really solid. I'm going to... I have cooked this in several dishes and it is just not good here's the other thing it's really funny when you cook this pasta because the water just turns like black it's like it's, you're cooking beans. it comes it becomes mush if you try to put it in a soup i really love pasta in my soup i love to make a minestrone or a vegetable noodle dish these just like fall apart yeah or become really mushy it smells like bean <laughs> Tastes like beans. It's like a cool shape of beans, of black beans. Mm. Not my cup of tea. My least favorite. Next is, is our weirdest. I, I've never tried this. It looks like I don't want to try it. This is also our last one. But I, I got this from Natural Products Expo, and my friend and I tried it when we were there, and how they prepared it, it was actually quite good. I tried it. There are two, I think, and I think I liked it. I I have one of those. I haven't yet yeah. made it. It's a little bit. It's meant to be prepared with a sauce, so you're just you literally take it out of the package. There's a lot of plastic involved, um, and you just put the sauce on it and either heat it on a stove or stick it in the microwave for two minutes, and it's ready to go. So it's what is it made really from? fast and quick? It's just palm. Uh, ingredient is just hearts of palm, no preservatives. Smell it. it smells like corn. Yeah, it does smell like corn has basically nothing in it but sodium. A lot of sodium. So weird. So it doesn't make any nutrition claims on it. Two grams of net carbs. So I guess the idea is if you're trying Less not carbs? to have carbs, there's no oh, carbs. Okay. 
this is talking about sustainably sourced palm because that can be a big issue. All right, let's try it. With the one I'm least looking forward to. Honestly, when I was taking a little video of this, it looks like real spaghetti. We should really be trying this in the sauce. <laughs> it tastes like, no. It's watery. It's like you're eating fruit pasta. <laughs> I'll try it in the sauce. Mm, I remind you of zucchini noodles. It tastes like corn. Mm -hmm. It tastes like I'm eating from a can drained corn. With That's pasta. what it smells like. So if you guys have ever made zucchini noodles, you can take a whole raw zucchini, spiralize it on this thing called spiralizer, and it comes out as these long green and white noodles. And you can put sauce on them, whatever, eat it raw, eat it kind of like warmed up on the stove, and it tastes a lot like this. Um, I would definitely advocate for going for zucchini noodles over this because zucchini is loaded cheap. with health benefits. It's really cheap. There's no packaging. And yeah, so I wouldn't be buying this again. But yeah. it's an interesting, interesting thought. And that's our last one. So best number one pick. Mine is 100% this, but honestly, I'm so impressed that we didn't spit anything out. <laughs> uh... I thought I was gonna really, really, really hate some of these, which I guess I do really hate some of these. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like this one. Yeah, I like that one. I liked the Bonza. And I liked this one. Yep. And I my least favorite is that black bean pasta. My least favorite is probably the red one from Trainer Joe's. Uh, yeah, I think if you're looking for a texture that's the most like pasta, try the brown rice by Tignolio. <laughs> Whatever that brand uh, is. We'd love to hear your favorite mm -hmm. uh, have you, pasta. Yeah, have you tried any of these that we tasted or like other varieties of them, other brands? Let us know down in the comments below. Or if there's something that we missed, this is only like the tip of the iceberg there mm -hmm. we could have brought a 30 thousand. different yeah pastas uh to the table but let us know down below if there's something we missed and we'd love to check it out especially if you love it if it's like your go-to i'm always looking to integrate just some new nutrients into my pasta dishes mm -hmm. so i'm down thank you guys as always for watching be sure to check out tony at plantbased on a budget.com and michelle at worldofvegan.com uh don't forget to subscribe hit that thumbs up if you like this video it really helps out our channel also tony has a youtube channel so i'll link that down in the description below thank you guys so much for watching have a beautiful day and we'll see you in the next video bye